In this video, we are going to see how we put the patients onto cardiopulmonary bypass. Our job is to keep the patient's heart and the lung function normal while the surgeon is operating on the heart. Heparin is given at the rate of 4 mg per kilogram. Heparin is an anticoagulant that prevents the formation of blood clots when the blood comes in contact with the foreign surface. That's why we have to maintain the ACT over 400 seconds throughout the case. The surgeon places a cannula, a specialized piece of tubing, into the patient's iota and the right atrium. The patient's blood is then drawn through a tube into the reservoir. A pump is used to pump the blood from the reservoir into the oxygenator where oxygen is added and carbon dioxide is removed. Putting a patient on cardiopulmonary bypass provides a bloodless field for the cardiac surgeon to operate on. A team effort between the surgeon, the fusionist and anesthesiologist is paramount for the successful of cardiopulmonary bypass. Going on bypass means taking over the function of the heart and the lung. Okay, at full flow. For all open heart surgeries, we normally cool the patient down to 32 degrees centigrade. Iotic cross clamp is a procedure that separates the systemic circulation from the outflow of the heart. Cardioplegia is a solution with high concentration of potassium which is given intentionally after the cross clamp for temporary arrest and to protect the heart during cardiac surgery. The heart is taught for the duration of surgery which is around 40 minutes of cross clamp time. Down to three for the floor. Okay. Down to half. Coming down. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
down to quarter. I can come off and give you some volume. Yeah. Okay. Venous line clamp off bypass and transfusing. Transfusing. Coming off bypass is the process where the support of heart lung machine is gradually withdrawn as the heart takes over the circulation. What about 400? Several steps are required for successful completion of coming off bypass.